Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. This week's scrapbook page is a lovely one of my nan. We had a wonderful two weeks together, not too long ago, um, and this picture was taken at a place called the Forties Tea Room. Um, and uh, being a lady who was you know, a live young girl during the war, listening to her, telling me stories, singing. <laughs> it chokes me up now. She's just an amazing lady. And I just thought this was a brilliant picture to scrapbook. Oh, let me uh, pull myself together there, Sam. So I'm using the Sweet Moments Dovecraft collection, which was perfect for this layout because it's got cupcakes and it's got cups of tea and just really cute and girly, just like she is. So. I'm just going through the 8x8 paper pack, just choosing my favourite papers, the ones that I think are going to work the best. Um, in the picture in the background there, it does also say, um, if in doubt, brew up. So there's, you know, there's nice little kind of um, words there that, you know, tie it all together. So I'm working on another layout, which again is nine and a quarter by nine and a half, because it's to fit in that 10 by 10 scrapbook album that I'm currently filling up. So and I'm using eight by eight papers, so it's all a bit out of sorts, but hopefully you'll like it and you, you know, I love it anyway, and that's what counts, so it does still work. So I pulled my papers together there. I'm just, this picture I had printed with a white um, border anyway. So now I'm just um, matting it again, or layering it even onto some pink um, card just to match in. Just again, just to kind of really frame that picture and. and you know, make sure it stands out. So I've gone for the little teacup and saucer, very cute. And I'm gonna go down for the bottom right hand corner for this particular one. So I've got that white space, um, not white space, the blank space along the top um, and the bottom there. So to the left hand side, which I'll be filling up shortly. Um, I'm just going along now, just hold, um, punching out a load of two inch circles from more of that patterned paper and also some one inch circles. You can see I've got them already there and I'm basically gonna have them in a cluster towards the top left hand of the uh, layout. So now I'm bringing in, this is a Sweet Dixie stencil which I got back in February. I think it was in one of the hobby base, it was in the Valentine's hobby base kit. So I'm just um, inking up there with some of my stamping up ink and just filling in, coming in maybe about two inches and just basically going along, all along that top and then down that left hand side. And it's just a really pretty, it, it matches the, the kind of a theme of the, the layout I'm doing there. So you can see I just finished enough now that bottom. And it's just another way to fill in and I will be doing that a lot at the minute with this particular album purely because of the size that I'm working with and the papers that I want to use. So you can see now when I sit that teacup paper against it it just I think it just works much better better than plain anyway so finally decide that that's where I'm going to keep my picture I don't stick anything down like I mentioned last week none of this is stuck down yet apart from the photo on that pink piece but I like to just play around and lay everything out first of all so I'm happy with where I've got my circles there then I'm bringing in again this same uh, thick as American Crafts puffy stickers and I'm using the memory one, which is at the bottom. And I just thought this one's gonna be happy memories or happy memory, which it is. It's a, a memory I'm certainly gonna keep forever. So, and it was, like I said, we just had the best two weeks. It was complete accident that it was two weeks. She was having a new kitchen fitted and that went on for longer than we thought. And I was in a position where I was able to stay and we just had, she is my oldest best friend. We just had the most laughs when she tells stories. She was, you know, she got up to some stuff when she was a young girl, I tell you that. And I, it's just brilliant. I love her to death. So now I am bringing in the decoupage 8x8 paper pack that's also part of that same range. And I'm using again the little teacup and saucer that matches the papers. Now I'm not using the two big disc pieces you see on that eight by eight paper. I just wanted the smaller bits here. So I'm only doing a few layers of the decoupage just there. You can, I'm slightly out of frame there. Sorry, it's, um, again, you get caught in the moment, don't you? But I'm just putting my foam little adhesive on the back there just to lift 
there's like a little um, lemon, little daisy flower, and a little macaron, macaroon. So they're all lifted up. So these are buttons that are also part of the collection. Really, really cute buttons. And that's why I punched out those circles because I knew I wanted to use these buttons. And I thought the circles, obviously the buttons are circular. Then I've got these puffy stickers, which aren't part of the collection, but they were perfectly matched. And then what you quickly saw there was me taking a picture. So taking a photo of everything. So I can just remove everything off my paper or my card and I can go ahead now and get it all stuck down. So first of all, with the main eight by eight piece, I'm not cutting it back at all. I did think about maybe putting a fancy trim and stuff, but then I used the stenciling, so I didn't bother in the end. Good old washi tape. <laughs> Again, I did say I, I think I have a style when it comes to my layouts. Um, you saw I done this last week, so I'm just running it. I haven't gone right to the end then because I knew that I was going to be covering that top left corner with circles, but the, the other ones I start bringing in now. I trim off and I just cut a little flag tail on the ends. Just again, it's just those little details. You can't see them that well in the video, but certainly in the photos, you'll be able to see the detail a bit more. And then just bringing in that photo again, just to make sure I've got everything lined up and in the position that I want it. And then this particular one is quite a cheap washi tape. So I'm just laying um, a little bead of my Tombow glue there, just to make sure that doesn't lift in future and then a little bit on the back there and just pop it around on the other side because you're not going to see any of that. Then the other ones I bring in, I start playing around, I think I end up sticking with a one with gold hearts on it. So I've got that little, yeah, that's the gold heart one there that you see. Again, it's got a shine to it, it, it picks up in the light. Again, in the video, it's probably not, not that great, but it does look lovely. And then there's that memory. So I'm still playing around with that. I did take ages actually deciding where I was gonna put this. Again, it looks lost in the video, but it, it really wasn't. You could see it really well actually. And again, the videos hopefully will, will show that better. But I've got this little happy, which is a wood veneer. And that's why happy memory. I just thought it looked really nice. Memories probably would have been better. I could have stamped it out, but I loved the gold in that, um, you know, thickers set that I had there, so I've stuck with memory. Then sticking down now those two little teacups and start bringing in, I'm just using my camera there just to revert back to how I had it laid out and just get them all stuck down with the buttons and everything else in place. So, and it does, it starts to come together really nicely. It's just so girly, you know, it's, it's, it's spewing pink and things like that all over it. Um, but it, it's just cute. And I thought she looked really cute and she's got a pink cardigan on and it was a really cute day. So it, it does the, it, you know, this, this is what scrapbooking is about. You're meant to be able to look at your page and it kind of take you back to that, that moment, that point in time. And, and this one certainly does. So I'm just bringing in my T-square ruler there and just working backwards and sticking down that memory, slightly going across the picture. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't obviously uh, uh, ruin it in any way. Um, and uh, it just fits in nicely across towards that kind of left hand side there. And then that happy, I haven't stuck down yet because I'm now going to heat emboss it with some gold glitter. So you just, exactly the same way that you would heat emboss anything else, you just uh, cover it with your Versamark and then sprinkle over your embossing powder and then heat set it as you would. Because this is wood, you do need to be a bit more careful. Don't obviously hold it in one place for too long. Keep that heat tool moving. Um, you know, don't, don't leave it there for too long. And seal all the edges as well. Go along the sides of the, the wood veneer and seal the sides. And then I'm going in and doing it again. Um, you can do this three or four times and that will create more of a metallic look. So it will make it look like it's a metal embellishment. I wasn't really bothered about that. I just wanted to make sure I had good gov coverage with the gold. So that's all set now. And I get that stuck down just above there. Then I brought in these pink paper flowers. I thought I was gonna use more of them, but I actually end up just using it on um, a little envelope that I make in a minute. This little sticker, which was part of the kit, just says that you're lovely, which I popped to the top right of the photo there again, just thought that looked really nice. And now I'm gonna make the envelope. So I wanted a little bit of journaling on this scrapbook page but I didn't want it to be something that 
everybody will see when they open the scrapbook. It was more of a personal thing just for me. So I'm not sharing that bit. It's just something that I've wrote about the day. But you can see here I'm just making a small envelope with the envelope punch board. And then I make a little insert to go inside. And it all gets decorated, which you'll see. And then I just wrote the date. Um, and just a little bit about that and how it made me feel and things like that. And it's just it was just a really nice touch. So these are great ways if you want to add little um, bits of journaling, but maybe your writing's not very, or you don't like your writing. I know my writing's not very good. And you just want to maybe keep it private, but still want to show off your scrapbook. This is a great way to do it. Conceal it in a little envelope. And um, not everybody really knows either, because I put a little bit of a Velcro dot on there, but when you look at it, you might not necessarily think it's actually a working envelope. So. A little hidden secret there. So now I'm just popping some white card and then framing another piece of decorative paper that's the same as the envelope on the front of the little note card that's going inside just to give it a little bit of decoration and then I get a few more of those stickers again and I'm just opening it here actually because I can't remember what ones I can't see the picture but it says oh yeah a note to say so again, quite fitting with the, what it was for. And you can see that it just fits nicely into there. And then what that, what that, that is now going to sit at the bottom. But I realized I wanted to have like a little pocket for it to sit in. So now you can see I'm just lifting off those teacups very, very carefully. And I'm gonna create just a little kind of little bit of a, a tuck just so I can just sit that envelope just behind, like so. Um, I lifted up a bit more because I wanted it to go in further. And because most of that was stuck on the picture, it actually peeled off quite quickly and easily and it didn't ruin anything, so that was good. And then I just put some more foam on that left-hand side of the teacup so that the envelope can sit nicely behind there. And then I stick the whole envelope down. I don't want the envelope to come off because I obviously don't want to lose it. So the envelope is now stuck but you can lift up the little um, opening there and obviously get the uh, little note card out to read it. And I just think it's just, an, like I said, it's just a nice way. This is a little enamel uh, heart. So again, just adding in, and it's now just down to all the little kind of embellishments. So more of those little puffy stickers, more of the buttons. And then I start to bring in my Nouveau drops and glitter. And I think I finish as well with a few more of the little puffy stickers and a little plastic flower, which I bring in in a minute as well. And I just fill it up. Again, you know me, I love texture, I love dimension, I love lots to look at. I will be showing this to my nan, and I know she will rub her hands all on it and just say, oh, it's so pretty, oh, my, oh look, you've got, you know, it's just nice. It's a nice little thing to look at and talk about. So I'm just bringing in the clear one, and that's that plastic flower that I was just talking about, and then I put a little sequin in the middle of that as well just to make it sparkle and make it shine and it just brings that whole page together and just completes it really so I was really really pleased with this one it just like I said it was a joy to make just because I was looking at my lovely nan and just remembering those lovely two weeks that we had together she won't see this unfortunately she doesn't have the internet unless my auntie or my mum will show her when they next see her but I certainly will We'll keep it uh, for her to look at in future so yeah there you go and then I think was that another oh did I go in for another button there as well I think I did a few more see I can't even stop more sequins more nouveau drops but there you have it so I hope you've enjoyed this one I think it's great and you can see the memory a bit more there as well until next time